Hello and welcome to Overcrafted Season 6. But you didn't see that one coming, huh? Now, I was inspired by CC's uh, episode on here to then start recording myself. Except I'm going to be doing it a lot more casually than what I was doing in my last survival series that very much ended abruptly. Sorry about that if you're enjoying it. I just lost motivation for it at kind of a weird point in it, to be honest. And But we're back with a new... So I will, it's not just me and Cece this time. We have overcrafted. It's currently five that have, that have really played on here. But we're looking to, you know, get some more people on here and hopefully start spicing it up. Now for today, in this first episode, I'm actually going to be showing you around. I am not as poor as you may have just expected me to be. Uh, I actually do have full leather and I'm probably the most, uh, I guess call it rich person on the server at this point but i'm going to do a bit of a servatory episode and then we might get into some stuff later on it's very going to be a hodgepodge mishmash of uh clips that i'll be doing kind of as part of the series so i think maybe i should probably go over the members of the server so it's me cc uh will xiphon do you remember metal and nicole i forgot there's six isn't there i'm not accounting apparently uh, so yeah, Aaron's back, uh, from, and Siphon are back from the old overcrafted days, which you re might remember if you're a real long time viewer of this channel. So yeah, we've got Kieran Nicole's bookshop, we've got Kieran's like little chat thing, which he's meant to be rotating daily. Oh, this is good. Oh, okay, he removed that sign. It was rotating daily was his plan, but I guess he hasn't really done too much of it. Just kind of a little small country market style thing. Um... Will built a nice bridge up there. Kieran built a nice tower over here. Uh, but now we have a uh, buy shop, which uh, YouTube, please don't hate me for this. We have uh, bees nuts. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <Got> e <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is, isn't it? It, it's a bee nuts. Yeah, well, yeah. CC edited everything about it out of his video, but you know. <laughs> He's trying to boy. <laughs> Everyone's trying to boycott it because of a, uh, you know, not not a real <laughs> fan of these. However, we are selling um, full bees nests with, with three bees in them. Full bee hives with three bees in them. Uh, Forty-eight honeycomb for a diamond. Full honey nests. So these are so there's no bees in these. These are just here for the particle effect. So if you wanted a nest thing with the particles and the sounds and whatnot. Um, same with this one, except there's none in there at the moment. And then we have Bees Nuts Bundles, which is the entire reason why I made this shop. I was like, you know what's a good idea? Honey in bundles. And it, we can call it Bees Nuts. And thus, Bees Nuts was born onto people's bases. Firstly, Nicole's base. And we have... Honey bees, fungal disease, axolotls and the trees, house of leaves, I might freeze. How did I come up with these? Yeah, I... We don't talk about this. Over here at Aaron's Basin, we have... A will not to do that stupid thing over again. So down here, Aaron has a little farm. With farm storage. Some friendly neighborhood pillagers. A small little horse pen on the side. A little... Storage room that looks particularly shiny with shaders. Ah! An enchanting setup with an amazing view. And is now down to pillager friends. Oh, so we're out here in the middle of the snowy mountains near Spawn. Um, and this is where Kieran lives. Out in the middle of God knows where his base. <laughs> As you see it load in. It's just over here. Very dramatic. Um, yeah. He has built... The fourth rigs of the server. Now, you may not understand that reference if you've not watched Full Metal Alchemist, but uh, I don't think you need to see the show to kind of get what this is. It's a giant bastion at, you know, kind of the edge of the world. The northern fort in the middle of the snow. Now, unfortunately, as cool as this looks, this is all it is so far. We have. Uh, it is just currently a wall with not much going on. 
He's just been building it. There are a couple of chests on the ins behind this wall, but other than that, that it's this is merely a facade currently. So we'll have to come back at a later day and check it out. But it is looking rather epic in the snow. Now we are finally here at my base. Now I won't be showing off CC's or Will's base in this just because one Will lives at that bridge she saw probably in like the first shot overlooking spawn. So, uh, and he just kind of had some chests up there. CC Space um, is currently kind of in a state where it's spoiling his next episode. So, uh, if you want to go to see his space, check him out uh, in the description below. Anyway, on to my place. This is our starter base, which you may or may not have seen on Twitter. Yeah, it was based on the image here done by link in the description because i don't know the name off the top of my head I try to do a lot of work with the detailing on the edge here I'm trying to make it as kind of broken up as possible use candles for lighting and also making it the wood wood kind of look more splintered in places and i think it turned out really well and trying to make the custom trees with it also was a very in interesting challenge of trying to get the branches kind of right because if you look closely they're actually just andesite walls and iron bars as the kind of smaller variant of the acacia log so it doesn't stand out too much and I think it works pretty well. So now moving on to the kind of the main base as it were. Uh, this entire island, yes, shocking. Me doing an island? Wow, never heard of that one before. Um, but yeah, so with this beach arrow we've gone for a kind of Hawaiian, Indonesian, kind of style theme very traditional style houses and structures will be kind of along this section uh, i'm very happy with these oh no i've oh i should have remembered what the name of these were batak batak we're gonna say batak if it's wrong it's wrong i'm saying batak batak whole house I think that's right. They turned out really nicely, uh, very much with the shape and the roof. Uh, was not the easiest roof to build, probably the hardest I've actually ever tried to build. Over here we have, so now this section is more based on Iceland and other uh, geothermic kind of areas. That's the theme for my base. It's geothermic. Hence why Hawaiian and Indonesian, because those areas are kind of traditional sandy kind of. But I think of volcanoes and sand, I think Indonesia and Hawaii. That's why I went with those style buildings, and it makes sense to me. Now, trying to blend this into the Iceland theme is, yeah, it's not really a great transition, I can't lie, because it's from sands to harsh rocks. Anyway, we have like a spring here, kind of based off of the uh, Blue Lagoon in Iceland, which I thought was really cool. Looks really, really nice. I'm not sure other details to add uh, yet, but I think I will when it ties eventually into this building which is based on the Perlan Museum also in Iceland uh, not the interior as much the the exterior is what really themed it and I've tried to adapt it into a more functional base I also have cats so then if we go up there we have this little bridge that I built which is actually a you probably already tell to be honest but it's a tree that I've kind of worked in as a staircase bridge because I don't really know what to do from up there to down here as a bridge design because it can be a staircase and a bridge so I came up with the idea of making it a tree staircase bridge so then up on the top of the hill which I need to make an actual path up for because it currently just dead ends um, we have my little bee setups which fuel these nuts so just a really compact honeycomb design. So you've got hive into observer, into block, into redstone, which powers then this dispenser. 
and it just goes into a chest here. Pretty simple. Very pleased with this design. I was trying to kind of... Um, this is more taken actually from a video game, Apex Legends, where in one of the maps they have kind of like a sulfur kind of area and they have these kind of futuristic looking houses just on poles out the ground. I kind of used that to inspire this design because it felt very scientific outside of the environment they're in. And then here we have um, the actual honeycomb production, which needs to be a lot bigger, hence why uh, it's not as compact and as nice looking as the one over there, or at least that's what I feel like. Hello, rabbits. So this final bit of this base, yes, this base, I have two, um, is my project area where I write projects down on the whiteboard and also store them and get supplies ready and that kind of thing. Need to do a little bit more with the room here. But, yeah. So this is my, because uh, we are so far out, since we're 5,300 blocks out, I decided to make a piston bolt. Um, I've currently dug out the tunnel. So this is it. It's just a really wide tunnel with a bit of soul span down. Soul span? Soul sand down the middle that just goes straight to spawn. Also, the other base, I've got plans for a dual cave spider farm because I need string for bundles. We all know where that goes. And then, uh, yeah, down the piston bolt, my plan is to play note blocks. And because it originally came about because when you build a piston bolt, you always have that. You always have to power a block with a repeater. And I was just like, what happens if I block? swap this block out for a note block be a cool idea and i found out nyan cat it's good it's a quick song it can fit with the one tick repeat delay and it's one of those ones that doesn't have direct endings so the length of the piston bolt really doesn't kind of matter as much as it could do so um that is my plan for that and it's going to be very interesting a very big project uh, I've written down some of the things that I'm going to need, and it's a lot. So for One Direction, we're going to need 748 sticky pistons and 142 regular pistons. Just to just to start to put it into perspective, um, it require that will require 84 stacks of cobble, 16 stacks of logs, and my maths might be off on that, but. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long gonna be a long thing. Now for the final part of this world Tory episode and its conclusion, we are at my second base, also known as my stronghold base, because we go just over here and look just down there, you can see the end portal. And it's a base that I kind of been wanting to do for a while, making one a base around a stronghold. And uh, I didn't even register up until uh, I was running over here. Is I've got a cave base and a cliff base. Works pretty well, doesn't it? Now, there isn't much going on over here at the moment. So we've got the stronghold. We have yet to be to the end. This will probably be the portal we use. Then just up here, we have just a really small storage area, which just has a few bits and bobs in it. It's nothing really too major over here at the moment because uh, the only other thing here at the moment that's built up is a dual spawner. So we've got, I should probably turn those sounds down. Oh, turn that off for now. So zombie spawner in there and then just behind there where that cobblestone is there's a skeleton spawner and both of them come down, go up here, and then drop down in this bit here. And now for this area, I'd really like to, I haven't been, I've kind of just done this so far, but my idea is to kind of make it kind of like a brick works. Hence the things, I probably should have brought some honey come over and turn these back into, you know, better looking copper to fit with everything. Um, but yeah, I need end rods, because end rods make really good piping. And I think that'll really add to the whole kind of aesthetic to of it. But yeah, that that's essentially it for this area. The dual cave spider spawner is just over yonder. Where was it? You saw it earlier. 
I'm getting lost here. Yeah, so it's just here. Just um, a bit a ways. There's the large opening in the hole, a geode, and everything. This is also, I put a glass block here to indicate that this was actually a slime chunk as well. Um, so I might use this as a slime farm, but I'm somewhat tempted to go back to the first main base, because I think there might be a dual slime chunk underground there, make it there. But we'll wait and see on that. So thank you all for watching. This has actually been a lot more edited, a lot more all in than I was actually originally expecting, g given the intro. Um, it it wasn't why I planned, but maybe I'll get back into this. And hopefully you like this style of episode. So that'll be it for the first episode of the World Tory kind of thing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.